Hi, today we're going to discuss everything you need to know about how to properly use the law of attraction and manifest what you want when you are in bad and negative situations. We're going to cover what to do, what not to do, and why. You're watching Active Path Law of Attraction, where we teach advanced law of attraction and manifestation techniques and principles so you can use them to get better results and change your world. You're watching Active Path Law of Attraction, where we teach advanced law of attraction techniques and principles so you can use them to get better results and change your world. Okay, so you're in a bad, negative, stressful situation and you want to use the law of attraction and manifestation to create the changes you do want in your life. Great, fantastic. We've done it a lot. I've done it a lot. Our students have done it a lot. No problem. The advice people are usually given is just to not feel anything negative, not feel bad. Don't think about the negative, stressful situation at all, even though you're living in it and only think happy positive thoughts, only feel grateful, feel like you already have the positive result and only feel positive about things. Now a lot of people struggle with this for very, very good reasons. And what we're going to teach today is not how not to struggle with that methodology. We're going to teach you an entirely different methodology which is a lot easier, a lot more powerful and a lot more effective for many reasons. But first, let's talk about why so many people struggle with this. Well, there are very good, very natural reasons why people can't think positive all the time, feel positive all the time, feel like they're in a positive situation when they're actually in a negative situation. The negative situation is calling, causing them a lot of stress, maybe anger, maybe fear, maybe anxiety, maybe doubt. And as long as that situation exists, you're going to be bombarded with that, those emotions. And that is completely natural. And it's okay. There are good reasons for that. And we're going to leverage them to create the changes you do want in your life. Lots of other people say, oh, if I'm living in this negative situation and I'm, I'm just focusing on the positive, like in a dreamland, I feel like I'm fooling myself, lying to myself, tricking myself. And all of this makes it really, really hard. It's virtually impossible to just feel good, just feel happy, just feel positive when you're in the midst of a really stressful situation. And that is is normal. So if you've been in the law of attraction and manifestation world for some time and you're wondering why you can't feel positive in this negative situation and does that mean I can't manifest what I want? It's okay. You're perfectly normal. Nothing's wrong and yes you can still manifest what you want in your life. The truth is that the worst thing you can do when you're in a negative situation is ignore it and pretend it's not there. And the truth is that the worst thing you can do when you are feeling negative emotions is to suppress them, hide them, and pretend they're not there and act happy when you're not. No bad situation has ever been made better by ignoring it and pretending it's not there. If you ignore your bills and your debt and pretend they're not there, you're going to get in trouble. If you're in a toxic or negative relationship of any sort, be it a personal relationship, friendship, your partner, or work, if you just ignore those situations and pretend they're not bad, they're just going to get worse. And one of the most irresponsible, one of the most dangerous times that this advice is given to people in the law of attraction and manifestation world is around their health and illness. I've seen and heard a lot of very well-known people say if you just don't give any attention or energy to a disease or illness it will go away or you won't get sick in the first place. You can eat whatever you want and as long as you're in a high alignment you won't get sick and you won't put on weight. That is dangerous and that is irresponsible. If you have an illness you can probably get better but you need to use the proper resources and you have to recognize that yes, this illness, this sickness exists, now we're going to change it. Ignoring an illness and pretending it's not there is only going to make the situation worse. And when it comes to your negative emotions, if you're feeling all these negative emotions in a negative situation, suppressing them, pretending they're not there, acting happy when you know you're not, 
is one of the worst things you can do for your mental health, your emotional health, and your physical health. The emotions don't go away. That energy stays within you. And we all know that that can weigh you down. It can drain your focus, can drain your mental and emotional energy. It can make you exhausted and it can create illness within your body. So when we're in a negative situation, the worst thing we can do is ignore it, pretend it's not there, and ignore and suppress and pretend our negative emotions aren't there. So if this is the case, then when we're in a negative situation, how do we still manifest what we want in our lives? Well, there's this great fallacy in the law of attraction and manifestation world that is told to people because it's very comforting. People like to hear it. It makes them feel good. Nothing wrong with that. But it's not really effective in manifesting great change in your life. And that is that thinking happy thoughts and feeling good emotions will bring you everything you want. And you have to avoid all negative thoughts and emotions at any cost because they will bring you what you don't want. This is not how things really work. If you don't believe me, think of all the times you've worried about something, stressed about it, couldn't think any about anything else, doom was coming, dropping down on you any day, you were losing sleep over it, and it never happened. And then think of all the times when you were absolutely certain something would happen. You were looking forward to it so much, there was no doubt in your mind, it was done, you were living it in the moment, maybe losing sleep for days because of this too, because you were so excited and so happy, and then it didn't happen either. There's more to this than just feeling happy and just feeling bad. And once you understand this and can apply it, it sets you free. Because no longer are you scared of being scared or frustrated about being frustrated or trying to pretend you're in a situation that you're not. If you're in a negative situation, you need to acknowledge it, face it, focus, and change it. And this does not require you just feeling happy and joyous. There are millions of people in the world right now who have everything you want and more. And they weren't just happy and joyous and singing all the time they were acquiring it. And they're not, they're not happy and joyous all the time now. Read anyone's biography. Pick your hero. Read their story. There was trouble. There was turmoil. There was doubt. There was fear. There was uncertainty. There was anxiety. There was anger. All while they created in their lives everything you want. The negative emotions didn't stop them. And they don't stop you. The difference is they know how to use them properly. Now, emotional energy of itself is very important to manifesting. We do fuel our manifestations with our emotional energy and the stronger the emotions, yes, the more fuel we have to fuel our manifestations. The more fuel we have, the bigger they can be, the faster they can happen, the more complex they can be. It just requires more energy. But the key is that this emotional energy can be great, strong, positive emotions. They can also be great, strong, negative emotions. It's the same energy. It's just a different flavor or different polarity. Now, when you have negative emotions and negative emotional energies, there's three things you can do. You can keep them inside suppressed. We already talked about that. Not good. Keeps you stuck in place, drains you, makes you exhausted, can make you sick. Not good to suppress them. So what do we want to do? We want to use the energy. We want to release it to create the changes we do want in our life. Just like we release our joyous energy and our happy energy and we use it and we put it out in the world and we don't contain it. We let it go and we use it to take action and create what we want in our life and it's fantastic. The same can be done with negative energy, negative emotional energy. Now, it can be released one of two ways. You can release it in a destructive manner. That's not what we want. It can also be released in a positive, constructive manner where you are releasing all of that energy. Remember, it's just energy towards creating what you do want in your life. And just like you're releasing all your positive energy into the world and the universe, you can release all your negative, but in a positive stream of creation. It's just energy. You just have to use it productively and constructively. And we'll teach you how to do that. It's not very hard to learn, but it is a life changer, a game changer. Because when you can create your manifestations when you're feeling great or when you're stressed out, 
Well, now you're unstoppable because when you're feeling good about your goal, you can create what you want. And when something's upsetting you and making you frustrated and angry, you can still create your goal. And we've all done this to some small extent at least. I'm sure you've changed something in your life just for the better, just because you were mad, pissed off, frustrated, angry. Maybe you left a toxic relationship. Maybe you left a bad job. Maybe you switched neighborhoods. Maybe you, you know, got more education. Maybe you cleaned your closet or your car, whatever it was. We've all taken that energy and used it in a constructive manner to create the change we want in our life. And it's the same thing. Negative emotions from a stressful situation don't necessarily hold you back. They are fuel. When you know how to use them productively and properly, they are the fuel. They are the energy you need to create the change in your life. We, we just discussed when you want to fuel your manifestations, the more energy, the better. When you're saying, I want to change the situation, I want to change the situation, what do you need? You need energy. And sometimes that comes through positive emotions and positive experiences. But sometimes you need that energy and it comes at you by frustration and anger. And you say, mm, I'm going to make it happen. And you do make it happen. It's just a refocusing of that energy. Now, the technique we use to do this, the technique we use to take all that raw energy from our negative emotions and release it in a positive stream of creation to create what we do want in our lives. And thousands of people have done this and the results are miraculous, okay? This is most people's favorite technique out of all the techniques we choose. It's called the emotional reversal because we're taking that emotion and we're reversing basically the polarity of the energy and releasing it in a positive stream of creation. And as a life changer, as a game changer. We can teach it to you in about 20, 30 minutes. It takes most people four or five practice tries to really start to get the hang of it. And that's usually just because people in the law of attraction and manifestation world have been so disconnected from their negative emotions for so long by pretending that they're not there, by suppressing them, that it takes them a few tries to have the faith and trust and courage to touch them and actually release that energy. But once they do, boy, the changes they can create in their lives are crazy. If you would like to learn more about the emotional reversal technique or active path law of attraction, any of our other techniques we can teach you, then you can find us online. Our website is theactivepath.com. You can also join our Facebook group, Power Manifesting Inner Circle. We also have a podcast, The Active Path LOA podcast. It's available on most podcast distributors. We've got a lot of information out there that can really up-level your law of attraction and manifestation skill set to the next level and the level after that and the level after that so you can really start making changes in your life. Come find us online, join the Facebook group, grab the podcast. We really want to help you learn this stuff really, really well. And to get you started, here are another couple of videos I know will open up your mind to a whole new world of law of attraction and manifestation, power, and ability. Please watch them right away. They will change your life. I'm Tom Riley. Until next time, remain at choice.